Now, remember I told you what, earlier on not to try this at home because you might make a mess. Well, this is what I'm talking about. I now have egg in my microphone. This is what we have to put up with here on Focus Magazine. Right, so for the next demonstration, I'm going to show you what happens when you microwave one of these. This is uh, just a normal domestic light bulb. Now, if you remember earlier on, I told you that um, basically all kinds of conductors absorb microwaves. Basically, they act as an aerial. So what I'm going to actually do now is illuminate this light bulb using the power of the microwaves inside this oven. So let's just pop this bulb out the centre. Like so. I'm just going to reset that and... Set for 10 minutes and off we go. Now you can see the bulb is lighting up quite spectacularly. That's a bit like one of those plasma balls that you used to get um, in novelty shops. There's basically argon gas inside a light bulb and that's ionising. Toothpick, stick it in the top like that. Okay, open up your microwave. Again, with all the dish and all that taken out. Now, you need to find one of the hot spots in your microwave. Normally, there's one kind of near the middle, basically where the microwaves focus. And you stick that one in there like that. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to light that cocktail stick next, and uh, that's going to uh, it's going to make the tip of the cocktail stick quite sooty. It's going to have lots of carbon in it, and uh, carbon is a really good absorber of microwaves. So that's going to soak up loads of microwave energy, with its, which it's then going to spit out in fits and starts. It's going to make these balls of uh, plasma with temperatures of millions of degrees centigrade. Um, so let's just see if that works. Now, let's get this burning really nicely this time. Third birthday, everybody. There we go, bit of plasma going on there. Seems to work best when they're just burning out. seem to have a major fire. I think we should stop there. Fire extinguisher at the ready. Hang on, I think I can cope with this with the tongs actually. Yeah. Hang on, Paul. Right then. Now, everybody knows not to put metal in a microwave oven, but that's not actually true per se. What you really shouldn't put in a microwave oven is metal with sharp pointed edges. And the reason for that is that sharp conducting edges actually concentrate electric charge, leading to high voltages which can cause arcing and fires inside your microwave. So what I've got here is uh, a piece of steel wool which is pretty much 100% metal edges, and I'm going to put that in my microwave and put it on full power. that in there. And off we go. Oh, lots of sparks and fire. And it's out. Huh. Rather unimpressed with uh, the previous performance of our sharp metallic objects in a microwave oven, so here's rather a lot more steel wool on full power. Off we go. Oh, look at that! It's like Guy Fawkes night. It is. A little microcosm. 
Yeah. It does, doesn't it? It doesn't last very long. I like steel wool. Right, now, um, at the other end of the scale, we have uh, metal objects which aren't uh, entirely uh, spiky or don't have any edges to them in particular. And one thing that you can try for this is a CD. I have a, uh, a CD-ROM from the cover of uh, the very excellent Sky at Night magazine here. Graham, the editor, will probably kill me for doing this, but it is in the name of science, Graham, so do bear with me. Um, as you can see, it's a very, very smooth surface, that. It's, uh, it's plastic coated with a kind of metal. Um, I'm going to put that in the microwave. I'm just going to put a box in to prop that up. There we go. And what should actually happen here is that the metal should absorb the heat quite smoothly, um, causing the CD to actually melt. So let's just see what happens there. Certainly lots of buzzing going on. Is anything else happening? Oh, oh, there it goes, there it goes. I think we have smoke coming out as well. So, there you go. How to have fun nuking stuff in your microwave oven. For more, see the October 2007 edition of BBC Focus magazine. I'm Paul Parsons and you've been watching the Focus videocast. Every time